Have you ever wondered about the tallest bird in North America, the whooping crane? This majestic creature stands tall with a height of up to five feet, making it a sight to behold in the wild. Its striking white plumage, long neck and legs, and black wingtips paint a picture of elegance and grace. But there's more to the whooping crane than meets the eye. It's not just its physical attributes that make it remarkable. Its distinctive call, a resonant whoop that can be heard over several kilometers, is a sound that once heard, is never forgotten. The whooping crane is also known for its impressive lifespan. In the wild, these birds can live up to 24 years, a testament to their resilience and adaptability. These factors combined, along with their expressive social behavior and intricate mating rituals, make the whooping crane a truly unique and stunning bird species. What do these magnificent creatures feed on, you might ask? The whooping crane's diet reveals their robust adaptability. As omnivores, they feast on a diverse menu. Their meals might include crustaceans, small fish, and plant tubers. But their culinary prowess doesn't stop there. They're also skilled foragers, often seen wading in shallow waters in search of their next meal. And just as they adapt their diet to their environment, they adjust their homes to the seasons. Each year, they embark on a migratory journey from the tranquil landscapes of Canada to the warmer climes of Texas for the winter. It's a testament to the whooping crane's resilience and determination. Let's not forget their mating rituals. With elaborate dances that are a sight to behold, these cranes communicate their readiness to mate. It's a fascinating spectacle, rich with elegance and sophistication. Their behavior and diet further highlight the whooping crane's adaptability and resilience. So where can we find these magnificent birds in the wild? The whooping crane, a creature of beauty and grace, primarily makes its home in wetlands, marshes, and prairies. These habitats offer the perfect blend of food, water, and cover, making them the ideal nesting grounds for these birds. Speaking of nests, it's fascinating how whooping cranes build their nests in shallow water. This unique behavior provides an extra layer of protection against predators. Now, it's interesting to note that there are two distinct populations of whooping cranes. The migratory population travels between Canada and the United States, making a grand journey each year. On the other hand, there's a non-migratory population that has made Florida their permanent home. These birds are incredibly adaptable, finding ways to thrive in different conditions. However, their adaptability is being tested as their habitats face increasing threats. Despite their adaptability, the whooping crane's habitat is under threat, posing significant challenges to their survival. But why is it that we don't see whooping cranes as often as we'd like, you may ask? The answer lies in the challenges they face. The primary threat to these majestic creatures is habitat loss. As wetlands are drained and developed for agriculture and urbanization, the whooping crane's natural home shrinks. Adding to this, human disturbance, such as noise and proximity, can disrupt their nesting and feeding patterns. Predation by natural predators also poses a threat, particularly to eggs and young cranes. The whooping crane is currently classified as an endangered species, but efforts are in place to protect and preserve this remarkable bird. Conservation initiatives include captive breeding programs, which aim to increase their numbers, and habitat protection, ensuring the cranes have a safe place to live and thrive. By understanding and appreciating the whooping crane, we can play a part in ensuring their survival for future generations. Remember to subscribe to Wildwood Chronicles for more captivating insights into the world of nature.